Oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team. To be the champ. By any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Win together. Too many rings. Too many rings. Who do it better? Yeah. Running and running and running and running and running and running. We won't stop. Competition got a mole lot. Shut them down, open up shop. Yeah, up 20 with the top spot. with another episode of Glory Pro Ascend. I'm Joe Parisi, and on today's episode, we've got a main event for you that features Rahit Raju going one-on-one -on -one with Kenny Alfonso. Before that, though, Cinco's crew squares off against Chris Hendricks and the United Glory Tag Team Champions, PME. Right now, let's send it down to ringside, where Ben Simon and Reed Duffy are standing by. Know that Mike Outlaw is likely telling Mason St. Goods and Chris Hendricks that they should have taken the money. Cinco once again leads his boys to victory. Right, bright future on hand for Mason St. Goods and Chris Hendricks, but for tonight, Mike Outlaw, Raheem De La Suede, they stand tall under the direction of Cinco. Oh! What the hell was that? Mason St. Goods just turned Chris Hendricks inside out. Oh, no, 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 no. Was, was this the plan all along? Cash extended. Mason St. Goods has joined up with Cinco and his crew. Cinco's added another promising young star. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ by any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Too many rings. Who do it better? Six man tag team action. Chris Hendricks, who was stabbed in the back by that man standing across from him in the red, Mason St. Goods. What did he go out and fight himself a couple of partners? He can't do a whole lot better than the United Glory Tag Team Champions, the Philly Marino experience. And Mason St. Goods now rolling with Cinco's crew. He's got the former United Glory Tag Team Champion in Raheem De La Suede and the former Crown of Glory champion, Mike Outlaw, in his corner. And already you can see that uh, Mason St. Goods is taking a little something from his newly found friends as Raheem De La Suede is going to tag in. And for the first time on Ascend, we have Suede TV. I was instructed I had to say that. Cinco already Mouthing off across the ring at Hendricks as he and Raheem will circle. Look, for all the nonsense and all the things that I have given Raheem De La Suede and Mike Outlaw and Calvin Tankman issues for, they are tremendous inside the squared circle. If you put the attitude aside, and I know it's difficult, 
These guys are incredible, and they are going to be a real problem all united for the Glory Pro roster as Chris Hendricks elevates up and over the top. Now he'll slide underneath. Speaking of problems, Chris Hendricks has all the potential to be one as he drop kicks Raheem De La Suede down to the canvas. And there's no postulating to the crowd right now as in comes the big fella. That's Philly Collins. And into the corner, he'll drive the right hand and he is feeling the groove early on with those jabs. Raining him in, off the right, a little flip-flop and fly perhaps. Raheem ducked and he got spiked. I love these guys. Two of my favorite people in the world, Philly Collins and Marino Tanaglia. It's a party every time they hit the ring. Tag team specialists. I was there at the very beginning when this team really came into its own and Marino Tanaglia flies his way in. And a little wink to the camera. Look, both legs counted too. Great tag team work on the Philly Marino experience. Marino Tanaglia, who's got more shakes than an orange Julius. Off the ropes goes Raheem De La Suede. Oh, and he'll fly back to his corner. Now Mason St. Good's happy to come in. Tanaglia off the ropes, steps up with the boot. Mike Elwa tries to take a swing from the outside. Out of the way is Tanaglia who slides. Oh, he is good. Flying into the corner, Tanaglia. Hammers St. Good's, here comes Philly Collins. He'll fly in, followed by his partner on the elevation, Tanaglia lands. And Collins says, hey, let's get the third man involved. Chris Hendricks goes flying into the corner. Snapmere takeover. St. Good's down. Stereo kicks from either side. Chris Hendricks fitting right in with the Philly Marino experience. The gentleman from Erotic City, USA. Uh, Philly and uh, Marino keep uh, promising me a trip there. It sounds lovely. As uh, Mason St. Good's jawbreaker, and then the knife edge chop, and that didn't do a whole lot to disturb one half of the United Glory Tag Team Champions. This might, though, Tanaglia in the wrong part of town. Oh, one for De La Suede, one for Outlaw. St. Good's charges. Tanaglia gets him in the rear waist lock. St. Good's able to break it. This kid quicker than a hiccup. Rolls him out of the corner. Count of one, two. Tanaglia able to fire him off. Raheem De La Suede, I believe, just made a blind tag. St. Goods elevates Tanaglia out to the apron. Oh, Tanaglia caught him with the right hand. Mike Elwa, he's got the boot on the outside. And a drop kick landing from Raheem De La Suede. And now the bones are going to be picked. Cinco over to call it on. As Philly Collins, unfortunately, not doing his tag partner any favors here. As now Mason St. Goods gets into the act. Oh, it's a problem. Count of two. Tanagli able to escape it, and that is what these men can do. They are vultures. They're sharks in the water as soon as they smell a speck of blood. Mike Elwa tags his way in for the first time in the matchup. The former Crown of Glory champion. And he'll hang Marino Tanagli over those ropes. And oh boy, they've already got Mason St. Goods doing the selfie thing. I mean, really? Uh, now look at this attack. And the official being distracted because Mike Elwa called on Philly Collins and Chris Hendricks. Meanwhile, Marino Tanaglia is getting picked apart. Only a count of two that time. It looked like Marino Tanaglia was in big, big trouble. Into the corner, Tanaglia. Held up by Outlaw. Oh, Raheem De La Suede, did you see the elevation as he charged in? Now Outlaw rolls his way through, and the forearm finds its mark. Great work here by all three men. In and out on the quick tags, Tanaglia in big trouble. St. Goods drops the knee, Raheem De La Suede. Again, it's athletic. You may not like the attitude, but he is unbelievable inside the ring. Did not hook a leg, though way too cocky on that pinfall attempt. It's gonna take more than that to put Marino Tanaglia away. Fans in St. Louis 
right behind PME. Up and down, Raheem De La Suede plants Marino Tanaglia, and De La Suede measured him for that knee. And yeah, he looks back over to the corner, and Mike Outlaw is loving it. These men turned their backs on their family from the forge and went their own way. They brought Mason St. Goods into it, and somehow Cinco found a way to bring Calvin Tankman, our new Crown of Glory champion here in Glory Pro. Do your job. Of course, last week, the very controversial win. It was a five-on-one that it took, including Dak Draper to be able to knock off Xavier Walker. And again, Mason St. Good is forcing Hendricks and Collins into the ring, but Tanaglia fighting his way back. Captures some head scissors, brings him down into the buckle. Tenegli's got to crawl. He's got to make his way across. Mike Outlaw, that was really smart on the part of Outlaw. Before he made the tag, he got the ref's attention, but it might not matter now. Tenaglia caught him with the insecurity, but De La Suede made the tag. Hendricks popped him. Oh, and it will be enough. It allowed Tanaglia to crawl over to Chris Hendricks, who drops Outlaw and drops De La Suede. Bodies hitting the floor all over the Casaloma ballroom. Chris Hendricks all caught himself in the ropes, and that allowed Mike Outlaw to get back to catch him. Hendricks, back elbow strikes landed off the ropes. Hendricks able to get it this time. He corkscrews into the crossbody. Rewind corkscrew takes out the former Crown of Glory champion. Hendricks elevated up and over the top. He'll land a forearm strike on Raheem De La Suede. Hendricks climbing top rope on the outside. He'll look to fly. Meteora, Meteora, hook to the outside leg on De La Suede, count of two. Mason St. Good's in to break it up. And now St. Good's not the legal man, so he's being pulled away by the official. Now, this is not the official's job. His job is to put, oh, this could be a disqualification. It should be a disqualification. But the official's job is not to physically pull St. Goods off, it's to put in the count and disqualify him if he need be. And you could have made an argument there. Oh, Chris Hendricks brings a meeting of the minds. Outlaw charges, forearm strike lands. Here comes De La Suede, he'll catch Hendricks. Mason St. Good, beautiful pause into the knee strike off the second rope, hook in the inside leg, count at two and, oh, Philly Collins tossed by Outlaw onto the pile. And here come the United Glory Tag Team Champions, or at least half of them in Philly Collins. Who rocks St. Goods with the right hand. And Collins, smartly, he'll drag Chris Hendricks over to his corner. And Philly Collins, the legal man. Well, Mike Outlaw, the power of his side, comes in with the ends of Gary, put it right behind the ear. But Chris Hendricks, how in the world did he do that? Elevated into the double stump, and then got caught with a super kick. Tanaglia, paradise kick. Oh, De La Suede, leaping flatliner. Billy Collins up in the corner. He turned him inside out with the lariat. Stan Hansen would have been proud of that one. And what are we gonna see here? De La Suede is in trouble. And we know that PME could put him down for Sunset Dreams. If they do so, this matchup's gonna be over in a hurry. Philly Collins has Tanaglia elevate over top of him. There it is, Sunset Dreams, Sunset Dreams. This is over, Tanaglia, all he's gonna do is hook the leg. Oh, wait a minute. They're gonna gear it up. They're gonna let Chris Hendricks get a measure of revenge. 450 coming. Oh, St. Goods pulled him out of the way. St. Goods saved De La Suede. Now Mike Outlaw sends one into the other as Tanagli. He's got the trunks, he's got the trunks. Crew stole another one. Marino Tanaglia is exactly right. It was a roll up from behind. 
and Mike Ella had a big time hold of the trunks on Marino Tanaglia. How many acts of larceny are we gonna have to withstand here in Glory Pro Wrestling? Cinco's crew stole the Crown of Glory title from Camaro Jackson. They steal a win here. Oh, for crying out loud. And uh, here comes the posing. This crew is going to be a real problem for the entire Glory Pro roster, and there is the mastermind. He might be the smartest man in pro wrestling today, Cinco. Here into music from the 80s and 90s. Classic arcade games, hanging out at the mall, watching cult classic movies from the 80s on VHS. If any of this stuff is up your alley, I've got the podcast for you. America's Pop Culture Trivia Show with Joe Parisi. Each episode features 21 fast-paced pop culture trivia questions with an 80s and 90s focus. Over 150 episodes are available right now wherever you get your podcasts. We start with fresh shredded lettuce. Add in thin-sliced local tomatoes. Every sandwich gets topped with our secret recipe sauce, cage sauce. All these elements top our steakhouse quality beef and American cheese to create the chopped cheese, a standard above the rest, only from Central State Sandwiches. Quality. Jacob, Warhorse up. They'll stare at one another, weapons in hand. And our referee may just want to get out of the way, yeah. Good move. And the bell is gonna sound as they hammer into one another. Chair for garbage can. Jake over the head of Warhorse. Are you kidding? Jake hits him again, it won't do it. They're just gonna keep swinging away. And oh, that's gonna be a fine. The official out to the floor. This is a war. We're going to need all kinds of help out here. The locker room is clearing. It looks like five o'clock traffic. They have a massive humanity getting into the ring to try and separate Jake something and Warhorse. Oh, we have definitely not seen the end of this. Uh, oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ by any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Too many rings. Who do it better? Welcome to episode number four of Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend. It's Reed Duthie, so pleased to be back with you here in St. Louis Castle Loma Ballroom as we open up this week with Mr. All That Matters ATM in the white and black trim with gold taking on a mountain of a man in Jabari King. An ATM who has been on the climb here at Glory Pro Wrestling is going to physically face one of his biggest challenges. Jabari King tosses ATM into the corner. First real chance to get a long look at Jabari King here in Glory Pro. As a shrug ATM away. ATM ducks underneath. Jabari King charges and takes him out with that hard cross body. Ran through him like ATM was coming across the 50 yard line on a Saturday afternoon. Knife edge chop from Jabari King. And ATM is in trouble early on, clearly giving up a massive size and strength advantage. Capture overhead release, belly to belly suplex, gorgeous execution. But Jabari King did not hook a leg, so just a count of two that time. And I am already impressed with what I'm seeing out of Jabari King, who's giving ATM all kinds of problems. ATM backed into the ropes. King brings him in with the knee. 
ATM sent across the ring once more. King holds on again. Catches him downstairs with that hard knee shot. Off the ropes, King. Oh, he faked him up high with the clothesline and then drilled him with the knee to the midsection. He forced ATM down, packaged him up, and then hammered him with that knee. But again, just a count of two as ATM shows his resilience. And resilience goes hand in hand with a man like ATM, a product of the Ford St. Louis. We've seen it time and time again. The men and women who come out of that school are just next level. As ATM fights his way back to his feet. Jabari King has controlled this matchup with his size and strength. ATM trying to speed it up a little bit. Jawbreaker, super kick. Oh, he got caught. Had a capture, had an arm. Beautiful suplex, T-bone style into the cover. Count of two, and that's all. Collar tied, that head and arm capture. T-bone suplex into the pinning combination. Jabari King looks good. I don't know what he's planning here, but Jabari King psyching himself up for something as he's going to hoist ATM up. Oh, ATM rolled over the opposite shoulder. It was a belly-to-back setup, and oh! Jabari King makes his first mistake of the matchup. He goes shoulder first into the ring post. Is there an opening? Beautiful drop kick from ATM. He gets all kinds of spring out of those legs. ATM backs to the corner. He'll fire his way in, drives the European uppercut, then a shot to the jawline. And Zagari as he steps up on him in the corner. ATM seated, top rope. He'll fly with the double stop, back of the head. And just like that in the blink of an eye, it's the speed, the athleticism, the agility of ATM. Super kick from a kneeling position. That's going to be all. Hook in the outside leg. One, two, and three. ATM opens up this week on a send with an excellent win. Get off, ATM. Let go. Get go. This mine. Kids, kids, stop. kids, stop it right now. You know that you're fighting over Smack Talk Showdown, and three or more people can play it. It's one of the best card games we've ever played, and... We can cut promos on each other as a family. Catch you, I've been calling you. It's almost like you've been trying to trying to avoid me. Bro. What's up with you, man? What do you mean, what's up? What do I mean, what's up? At the last show, what was that stuff you pulled, man? We got the W, and then you acting all funny and different. And stuff. What's up with you, dog? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Now's a good time. Now's a good time, Denny. Let's talk let's about talk, that. Let's talk. Come let's on talk about it. that. You see, I don't know if you've noticed, because maybe you just don't pay attention to what I've been going through, but I haven't had a pinfall win in God knows how long. And that was supposed to be mine. You know what, Moses? Here's the thing. I never asked for us to be a tag team. I saw it as an opportunity. You never asked. I never asked either, so don't get it twisted, dog. And who cares if you got the pin or not? We won. And for somebody who's been on a loser streak like you, I thought you'd be a little more happy about that. I don't think, I don't think you're getting this. I need to prove to everyone out there that screams big strong boy, to everyone that believes in me, that I'm worth something that I'm capable of beating anybody in that locker room. Anybody? Yeah. Anybody. Anybody. All right. Let's see if you can beat me. Think on that one. Yeah, there's nothing to think about. Oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ by any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Too many rings. Who do it better? It's me. 
main event time here on Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend. And what a main event this one is. Rohit Raju, the 15 year veteran. He debuted in 2008, the former Midwest Territory champion who held that belt for an incredible 714 days. Will take on the lightning fast Kenny Alfonso. The Lafayette, Kansas product taking on the man from Saginaw, Michigan, is Rohit Raju. And Raju will have the extreme experience advantage in this matchup. He was also a former Impact Wrestling X Division champion, held that title for 115 days, and held the AEW Heritage Championship on a pair of occasions for 600 days combined. As they go collar and elbow tie up, Rohit Raju takes the arm. Kenny Alfonso is a man on the rise. When you talk about the next generation of superstardom out of the Midwest, Kenny Alfonso is one of those guys. He and Camaro Jackson, of course, have been together for a while as the pair of Alpha Omega. They have struck tag team gold in the Midwest, and well, they love to capture some more. Camaro Jackson, a little preoccupied at the moment. Kenny Alfonso, who has challenged for the Crown of Glory title on occasion, will also be looking to make his way up with a win here over Rohit Raju, who... There you see the extensive experience. And Raju already telling Kenny Alfonso to step out. Raju has a background in kickboxing, amateur wrestling, and jiu-jitsu. So he can beat you up on the feet, and when the match goes to the mat, you're not safe there either from the longtime veteran. And some new gear for Rohit Raju. As Raju calling the fans on, as they get behind Kenny Alfonso, and again, call her an elbow tie-up. Rohit Raju, the leader of the hustle and the muscle, who on a pair of occasions have claimed the United Glory Tag Team titles. He, along with his giant Karam, and nice arm drag takeover there from Rohit Raju. Kenny Alfonso tries one of his own. Back to the feet, Alfonso, rear waist lock, hooking onto the ropes was Raju. Alfonso stopped, and that allowed Raju to charge right through him with the shoulder block. So Raju has held two of the three championships in Glory Pro Wrestling. You know, he'd love a shot at the crown of glory as Alfonso paced him with the drop kick. And the Alfonso bringing Rohit back up to his feet. Jacks the jaw with the forearm. Alfonso over the body, then underneath the leapfrog. Both men hit the brakes. Rohit on the turn, breaks again from Alfonso. Rohit to the ropes, look out to the floor. Goes Rohit Raju, he landed on his feet. Talked about the experience edge. Kenny Alfonso's learned a lot in the now seven years he's been a professional. You would think that Kenny Alfonso has the speed and athleticism edge in this contest, but Rohit Raju is certainly no slouch in those departments. I'm not gonna say the strengths of these two men even out by any stretch, but certainly they can each stand up to one another. Rohit will make his way back in and charge in with the boot. Kenny Alfonso caught it, knew it was coming. Form lands along the jawline. Kenny Alfonso quicker than a hiccup. Into the corner. Pasting him with those forearms. Using the rope for a little bit of leverage. Rohit hits the brakes. Alfonso up and over the top. He'll spring through. Oh my goodness gracious. What an athlete. Bicycle kick lands on Rohit. From the second rope, shotgun drop kick. Rohit trying to roll back up to his feet. He's a little rock. Kenny Alfonso, he wants to contend this matchup somewhere between the speeds of sound and light. He went wheelbarrow. Rohit said, no problem, I'll just plant you. Count it two. And that's all. And just like that, the veteran presence of Rohit Raju turns a match on its head, and now he's putting the boots into the fall in Kenny Alfonso. He is so smart. Inside the squared circle is Rohit Raju. Vertical suplex set, snaps him over. He has excellence of execution. 
And I can say that I'm from the same country as Bret Hart. Rear chin lock applied. And Rohit will drag Kenny Alfonso right back down to the canvas. Alfonso gonna battle his way from the bottom and as Rohit is forcing Alfonso to fight for every breath, he gets to take a little bit of a breather as he tries. Look at that cable grip on the hands. Rohit knows every little trick to make everything just a little bit tougher. Although Kenny Alfonso showing brilliant fight back to his feet. Alfonso sending Raju off. Oh, he caught himself, and oh, Alfonso hit the back of his head hard, then took the kick to the chest. And Rohe dives in with the elbow. Kettle on, two, didn't hook the leg. And uh, I think you can tell who he was emulating that time. Now Rohit's gonna tie up the feet of Kenny Alfonso. Is he gonna try for a Muda lock? He went from Steve Austin to the great Muda? Well, they're both in WCW in the early 90s, I suppose. As Rohit trying to crank that neck and he get a little bit more leverage with his own. Rohit's bridge fell out, but the strength of Rohit Rosu, he's still cranking the neck of Kenny Alfonso, who had to get to the ropes. That's incredible strength from Rohit Raju. He had the bridge locked in. It looked like his head slid out on the canvas, and yet he was still able, just with his arms, to get enough strength to pull Kenny Alfonso's head and neck back. Kenny Alfonso, though, coming back with the right hands, raining him in. Oh, uh, one went Steve Austin, one went Dwayne Johnson. Alfonso sends Rohit far side. Oh, he puts the brakes on. Alfonso up over the top rope, landed on his feet. Watch out for Rohit, he can fly. He attempted, Alfonso back into the ring. Rohit follows, Alfonso off the ropes, and Rohit had him scouted. Knew what he would look for right there, and put the drop kick to the midsection. Hook of the outside leg, and one, two, and a half. What a main event. Rohit, Raju, and Kenny Alfonso, putting on a show here at the Casaloma Ballroom in St. Louis. Next week, right back here on Ascend, the talent remains the same, the venue will change. We return to the South Broadway Athletic Club. Can't wait to be back in the historic venue for Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend for the very first time at the SBAC. Not gonna wanna miss that over the coming weeks. And of course, go to the Glory Pro Wrestling Patreon, patreon.com slash glorypro. Get caught up on all the goings on around Glory Pro Wrestling insider access. It is worth every penny, trust me, as Kenny Alfonso fires in the jawbreaker. Oh, Rohit lights him up with a kick to the chest. And Kenny Alfonso, are you kidding me? He won't go down. Rohit again. Looks like he's just made him mad. Oh, this is one tough young man. Kenny Alfonso's on his feet. Boot to the chest of Rohit Raju. And Rohit fires one right back in. Alfonso, one of his own. Oh, Rohit. They heard that one echo. Alfonso, he almost put that one on the jawline. Now to the chest, Rohit caught the foot. Alfonso, swing and a miss. Swing continues all the way through. Roundhouse on the spin. Alfonso snaps him down with the Frankensteiner. Alfonso will hit the ropes. Back spring into the cutter. He landed it, he landed it. He'll package up Raju, count it two. And a half, and now, submission through fear, STF, STF. I don't think Alfonso's got it locked exactly on. Rohit, though, is having trouble dragging his way to the ropes. Rohit was just able to force Alfonso to slide down. Kenny tried to reposition it into almost an RNC. But he didn't have the time before Rohit was able to make the ropes. Alfonso just didn't quite have it hooked in the way he would have wanted it. 
but he was giving Rohit all kinds of trouble trying to make the ropes as Alfonso, speaking of using the ropes, that knee landed right on the point of the chin. Now ascending to the top rope, Alfonso wants to fly, he is an aerial artist. Rohit charged, that forced Alfonso down. Rohit comes right in with the forearm. Now they hit the ropes and this is vintage. Rohit Raju one way with the boot, back to the corner himself. He'll drive in, Alfonso met him. Not enough to get out of the way of the roaring forearm. And then that leaping neck breaker. Get one, two, both legs hooked, and three quarters. Kenny Alfonso survives here in the main event. And Rohit Raju, yeah, absolutely. The fans are giving him his just due in this contest. I have said it for a long, long time, whether you love him or hate him, he is brilliant inside the squared circle, is Rohit Raju. Personally, I've never had a problem with him, but some of the tactics inside the ring have been where I've questioned him. Person to person, it's always been lovely to me. As, oh, we both work in OHL towns, right? As Kenny Alfonso turned around to the top rope. Oh, caught down onto the second rope. Rohit Raju trying to drag Alfonso out, rolls the dice with him. Alfonso still in big trouble. Hooked to the top rope and hung out to dry. Now where's Rohit going? He wants to fly. Rohit Raju with the leap. Tried the double stomp, Kenny was out of the way. Rohit charges, flatliner, he got him. Outside leg is hooked, count of two and nine tenths. Oh, what in the world has he got to do? Kenny Alfonso is showing that incredible reserve that we saw in his matchups against Camaro Jackson. Rohit Raju has got to be just puzzled as to what to do here. And Rohit Raju is in a bit of an unfamiliar position. He's getting some love from the fans who respect what he's doing inside that squared circle here in our main event with Kenny Alfonso. Each week, Glory Pro Ascend has just been bringing it all the way up and down the card, main event to main event. If you can find a harder working roster in wrestling, you're gonna have to show it to me because I can't find one. These guys are incredible. As Kenny Alfonso puts the right forearm onto the jawline, Rohit again with his own as they stand center of the ring. Back and forth they go, Michigan and Kansas battling it out. Kenny Alfonso hooks the backslide, hooks the backslide, count of two. Rohit Raju able to escape. Rohit tries to kick Kenny out of the way. Kenny catches him roundhouse. Off the ropes, Rohit stepped through him with the kick. Off the ropes goes Rohit Raju. Kenny slides out the back. Oh, beautiful trip takedown and a bridge, and he got him. That was awesome! Rohit Raju asking something of referee Adam Kennedy. What a finish! And that pinfall combination from Kenny Alfonso was sheer brilliance. Rear waist lock, one arm almost faked Rohit, dropped down, then rolled him up and bridged his way over top and... Uh, is he thinking of extend... Kenny Alfonso extends the hand to Rohit Raju? Uh, both men deserve it here and... Yeah, I kind of thought that's what we were gonna see. Rohit Raju not ready to go that far just yet, but man, did they put on an incredible show here on Glory Pro Wrestling Ascent. Kenny Alfonso with an absolutely massive victory over Rohit Raju. What's next for that young man? The sky is the limit. Thanks as always for being here with us on Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend. Tune in next week as we return to the South Broadway Athletic Club. Hey, who